came down from the high hills of the Appalachia early. I could see the shadow of the mountains behind me coming closer. Then I felt the sun on my back. I love that. The trail was hard and lonely, and the sun feels like someone you really like is with you. Someone easy to be with. I need this when the riding jars. It helps to loosen me so I can roll with my boat of a cart. I had built this buckboard up into a little walled-in wagon with a seat for me up high on the front, completely out in the weather. Right now, with the road so tilted and rutted, it felt like I was riding an elephant whose sense of humor was as large as himself. I reined in, Lester and Earl. I made my wagon to look exactly like the traveling medicine show wagons of the Old West era of our history. But I wanted to be able to get around. Anything simple I could do that would really help that goal, I did. There were so many tried and true ground vehicles left to be found. I scavenged my ideas from the history books and the junkyards. I keep the rig rolling the same way. Wing swung down from his perch and opened a panel on the side of his driver's seat. He reached in and gave a few pumps on the lever. The whole rig settled down a foot or so. Lester and Earl don't like that and have never really gotten used to it. They startled and jumped forward. Wing caught on too late, again, and got a little twist on the arm. He swore and the horses looked around nervously. They felt like they were going to catch hell again, for nothing. Wing stared at them, then reached back under the seat and started pumping the lever like a madman. The whole wagon jumped all four wheels off the ground and the horses bolted and halted till they were sick of it. Eventually, too blown out to move, they accepted the wagon and all little things it did. Wing fell on the ground. Long before he felt like he could move, he wanted to. He just lay there looking at the sky. It was very blue and filled with big clouds that had urgent business back over the mountains. Oh, they, they probably heard I was coming, he moaned. An uneventful trip to the next performance followed Wing's rising. He could have used a sling, but a medicine show proctored by an injured man is bound to be seen as a sham. The fact that it is a sham was no excuse for letting it be seen one. It's more like just finding a niche, he thought. Everyone got to have a niche. The town was full of people. Crowds gathered to buy and see. Gatherings are fun in a world where food is easy. People don't need to be too desperate because they know they can eat. So the bulk of the population just mingles and worries about their weight. No one a builder or a maker of anything, but everyone's so good at knowing quality when they see it. Into this world Wing comes. His riding atop his wagon makes him look years older than everyone. No one here has wrinkles. It lets him get away with saying he's a couple of hundred years old, <laughs> give or take a few dozen. No one reads much, and Wing keeps his bill simple. Snake oil sales, renditions and remedies. The ignorant get the words. Those that are trying to prove how smart they are by reading the bill, <laughs> well, <laughs> they get the medicine. <laughs> it was all in the pictures on the side of his wagon. Bottles and books and the likenesses of Gandhi, Einstein, Ruin, Imus, and Jesus were fading into the wood they were painted on. The people wing past started to look like the elements of a big radar device as all their heads turned to him and tracked his passage. He acts like he's asleep at the wheel and just passes. A point comes and wing stops. He has found his place. It's a little plaza with some real ground. Whoa, Lester! Whoa! Wing calls out as he leans back in the reins to slow, then stop the powerful animals. They, the animals, and the wagon give the look of a large boat that has been idled back and is bobbing robustly in the water, making big waves all around. Wing never does that except to begin the show, and at the point he does it, he jumps off his seat like a teenage sprite and then briskly walks to the back of his rig and drops the tailgate. Hopping to the stage he has made, he pulls on a string and a canvas backdrop unrolls. 
Looking closely, you can see the small image of his wagon traveling all the nooks and crannies of a huge earth. People had followed his wagon to this spot, so when he turned, a crowd is already there. Welcome to Snake Oil Sales, a cure for every human malady, no matter what ails you. Is it your body? Is it your heart? No matter, I got something for you in this cart. Everyone could hear clearly as if they were standing near him, without being the least bit curious as to why that was. To pay attention seemed to be all it took to have his voice in your ear. Now Wing danced a little move and blew a few notes on a harmonica. His voice became youthful and cheery as he launches into his drum song. Come on, you people, and gather around. I got snake oil and medicinal things for sale. Oh, they've been gathered from a thousand places along the trail. With traders from the four corners of every land I have dealt. <laughs> Wing crouches and softly confides to the crowd. I don't even know what most of this stuff is myself. Then straightening and bold again, upright standing up. I just let the market decide what's fair. My motto is, let the buyer beware. Woo! Getting a laugh was no guarantee of economic success, but it meant he had a crowd he could have some fun with. While he sang, he had been looking around for someone. The time it takes to sing those few lines is how long he has to find that someone. He basically needs someone who is basically a healthy, happy person, but right now got the blues. The next hour would be so easy if he got the right person right now. He might even find someone who would like to be with him later. Through the crowd, he selects, he points, and he calls. Hey, 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 you over there. Oh, why do you stoop and walk so slow? Now tell these fine people, am I? Oh, someone you know. A couple of the largest winks on record. Medicine balled out to the found person and the crowd. The sad girl smiles. The magic of the traveling snake oil man is already working. <laughs> Everyone can see it. It is a young woman, and after moving closer, she lowers her head and quietly says, Oh, that's my boyfriend. My boyfriend and I had a fight. While well, Wing bows head into hand and wags them both back and forth atop a pencil erect body. Oh, what a sad, 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 sad tale you tell the stranger. Each sad got a little helpless, almost pouting stamp. He figures four is enough. When you got a whole lot of drunks in front of you, it's better to do a whole lot more of them sads and stomps, but not today. Your life has obviously been fraught with danger. Yes, I'm sure I got something for you. Now tell me, are you a tenor or do you sing the blues? Welcome to Snake Oil Sales, everyone! Whoa!